<laughs> okay, you guys, welcome everybody to the role playing class. Uh, my name is Lisa, and I'm one of the English teachers here at Verbling.com. <laughs> we just had a funny. <laughs> you keep laughing like me. <laughs> In our last class, in the last hour, we were playing the 20 questions game, and our last uh, thing that we had to guess was uh, very difficult and funny. <laughs> so we had a good time. Um, in this class, we're going to be doing some role playing so that everybody has a chance to uh, do some acting and improvisation, and that will help you with your speaking as well. So it's a speaking class and um, if you notice I put up in the verb link chat already the link and that will take you to the document that we're going to use to kind of help us uh, do some role plays. Um, I came up with some scenes and some characters but if you have another idea for something you want to do then uh, we can do that as well if you want to practice uh, doing some kind of dialogue or conversation with uh, somebody. So, if you have a reservation for this class, you can go ahead and use it now. Uh, you get to use it in the first two minutes, uh, and in a minute here, the join class button will be available to everybody. So, if you didn't make a reservation but you want to join us in doing the role plays, then you uh, can just click on the join class button at any time and that will bring you into the Google Hangouts here with us and you'll be able to do these uh, role plays. Okay, so hi everybody, welcome back to Adela and Andrea and Hamid. Hello. <laughs> uh, Hello. We had a fun time in the last uh, class. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, what is the word of uh, Rafael because uh, I dropped out. <laughs> He gets it. <laughs> I have no idea. It was a condom. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. That's why we were laughing. Because he said it could be used as a glove. <laughs> yes, it can be a glove. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's pretty funny. All right, so welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome, Julio. And Luis and Lucas, you're back, and Miguel and Ming and Sarah. Hi, everybody. Hi, um, Lisa. Welcome, everybody. Hi. Okay, so we're going to do some role playing here. And the way that this works is that I've created like a, a little bit of a scenario or a scene. And um, we'll just I just created a bunch of different ones and we can go with these and if somebody wants to do something else and somebody else agrees then you guys can do a different role play. Um, these are just you know different ones that might come up in, in real life so it's practice for you guys to kind of have a little conversation with somebody but it's um, improvised so it means you just come up with it like off the top of your head there's no planning really but um, we're going to help you out a little bit so you don't have to think of everything. Um, the first scenario is two strangers. So two people who do not know each other already. So you are strangers. And the, the setting is um, you meet on the train and start to get to know each other. So this is a very common kind of easy one. And when you're doing the role plays, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can just be very normal and do it normally. And I noticed that some students, they like to make it a little bit uh, fun. So you, you, sometimes you throw your partner some kind of crazy piece of information. <laughs> and so your partner has to um, respond. So it's up to you guys however you want to play the role. Um, of course, you know this is for English class, so it's about practicing your English. And so we will just... Uh, help you out a little bit. So what are some things, oops, I forgot to change this here. It's not teacher and student. It's just two different, uh, oops, two strangers. So stranger one and stranger two. Um, and what are some things that you might uh, ask somebody if you don't know them and you're meeting them for the first time? What kinds of things would you want to know? What is your purpose to come your name? Uh, this uh, gym? Yeah, what is your name? That would be the first one. 
Say it again, Hamid. What is your uh, purpose uh, to come at uh, this gym? On the train? On the train? Yes. So, uh, why are you why are you taking this train? Like Yes. Yeah, what's the purpose? Where or where where are you going? You could say that. Mhm. Mm what else? What else might you ask somebody when you're trying to get to know each other a little bit? Mm, what do you do for a living? Mhm. Mm okay. What other common one? Where are you from? Right, that's what I was thinking. Where are you from? Are you single? <laughs> 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 you might want to look at their fingers. <laughs> See if they have a wedding ring on. <laughs> Maybe he or uh, she can uh, keep in his or her box uh, before the... Oh, yeah, okay. So they don't, you don't know. That's good. What else? Is this is free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to sit next to them. Yeah. <laughs> what other kinds of things do you ask people when you're just meeting them for the first time? Do you want to chat with me more? Do you travel alone? Mm hmm Oh. Uh, are you traveling alone? And uh, are you free after the uh, workout? <laughs> after the workout, we're on a train, Hamid. I understood it is uh, related to uh, gym or uh, no, train it means like a course. Nope, nope. a train, like a choo-choo train. Mm. Like okay. right here. You're on the train. So the scenario is like you got on the train and you're going to sit down and you're in the same car or next to maybe uh, somebody and you you know they're a stranger you never met them before and you're just trying to get to know them okay, you know uh, you're being po polite yeah. conversation okay what is your do station? you like the weather <laughs> okay do you like the weather <laughs> so you can say do you like this weather <laughs> we are having <laughs> do you okay. mind if you sit down your beside or I next to Beside you, uh huh, or next to you, uh huh. And uh, uh, where is your uh, station to leave uh, from this train? Okay, when when are you getting off? You could say that. Mm -hmm. When or where are you getting off? So when um, is more like you know I'm getting off in about two hours, or where would be the exact station or the town, or where are you going? That's kind of the one up here too. Whoops. Okay. I think you guys have an idea. So um, let's have two people do this. And so you just have a, a real kind of conversation. You know, you're meeting somebody for the first time. Introduce yourself. They introduce themselves. And then you might start a conversation about whatever you want, what, what they do for a living, what's their job, where do they live, where they're from, where they're going, um, the typical things that you would ask somebody. And then you guys will answer each other, like a real conversation. Okay, I am on answer. Okay, H Hamid and Andre, you're going to do this one? Okay. Okay, okay. alright. Go for it. Okay, so in uh, our scenario, yeah. uh, Andre is sitting and I am coming uh, the, uh, cabin, cabin. to the cabin. Yeah. Yeah. You're, uh, to the cabin or the car. Uh, yeah, so for example, let me see a picture here. Nope, not a good one there. Whoops. Yeah. I mean, usually on the trains, you know, it looks something like this. You're either going to sit next to them or something like this is more common. Or maybe, you know, you can fit. Yes, this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is kind of common. Okay. And it can be uh, some uh, movies scene. Our, uh, our area. Yes, you're in the movies. Okay, ready, action. <laughs> okay, uh, Director. <laughs> go. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Oh, there you go. Okay. 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 Hello, yeah. ma'am. Hello. Is this seat uh, is this seat free? Yes, it is. Can I sit? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
I want to uh, uh, I want to uh, meet uh, with you. Is it possible? Sorry. I want to uh, know you uh, about you more. Uh, is it possible? <laughs> yes. Why not? <laughs> okay. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, so, uh, what's your name, uh, man? My name is Andre and you? My name is Hamid. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Spain. Okay. And I'm from Turkey. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I am. I will visit uh, my one of my best friends. Uh, and uh, this train, I think it is go going to uh, USA. And I will visit uh, Lisa's home and cafe. <laughs> Uh, we are in Spain right now. <laughs> yes, but you know this train is uh, traveling all around the world. Ah, yes. Can it swim? <laughs> yes, I can swim. <laughs> if you don't know, I can try to teach you. <laughs> okay. I'm traveling to Madrid right now. But uh, you know, this train is uh, now in Antarctica, so our uh, <laughs> stations are <laughs> very far. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> what else do you want to know about me? Okay, uh, excuse me but, uh, for this question, but are you single? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I'm sorry for that. No, no don't <laughs> worry. I'm an open-minded. Okay, don't worry. thank you. Okay, uh, but uh, why are you traveling alone? Yes, because my husband is working in Madrid, so I'm going to meet him. Hmm. Okay. And uh, the weather is uh, look. The weather looks like uh, foggy. So, do you like this weather? Yes, I like it. <laughs> but uh, but if uh, it were uh, sunny, and uh, maybe our conversation uh, were better. If <laughs> 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 it was I sunny, your that, conversation would be better. Uh, yes, I Why? Believe that, I believe that uh, the weather uh, sometimes uh, feels our uh, feelings, our emotions. I mean, for example, um. if, if the weather is rainy. I can be very dramatic and uh, very uh, <laughs> depressing mode. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. Yes, but you know, I live in a region and it's raining every day. So. Okay, and uh, I want to ask another question. Uh, do you like poems? Poems? Not at all. Hmm. I'm not a romantic person. I'm sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and uh, do you know one website? Uh, there is one uh, uh, one website. And uh, uh, do you want to improve your some language abilities? <laughs> yes, I need it. Really? Yes, uh, I'm improving so my English skills. So do I. And I know uh, that uh, my friend is Lisa. Uh, helps <laughs> us uh, for this way. Lisa, where is she from? She's uh, from uh, Washington, USA, and uh, she, uh, her lessons and uh, her personality are amazing. <laughs> are you talking to me about the teacher from Braveling.com? Yes. I know her. <laughs> She's amazing. Hey. Really? <laughs> we are thinking the same person. Oh my yes, God! Yes, she's famous, no? <laughs> yes. Okay, you guys get the Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, Nihan. Yes, Lisa. If you you would have kicked he, him, he, if you would have asked him. He I promoted to verbling I on the train with stranger. <laughs> For fun. Really yeah. interesting guy. Okay, so Hamid. Yes. 
And um, uh, last uh, last moment, uh, and uh, Andrea, uh, if uh, possible, uh, can you give your uh, your information? My information? What kind of information do you want? For example, <laughs> your email. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, my email. Yes, here you are. Okay, one two three at hotmail dot com. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why do you want her email, Hamid? Uh, because I want to uh, keep in contact with uh, her. Mm -hmm. Because and we can sometimes uh, join uh, in the same time uh, for Liza's and other uh, <laughs> teachers' <laughs> lessons. Okay, Hamid, you're very um, <clears throat> forthright. <laughs> do you know what that means? No. That means very, uh, very open right away. Hmm. I say my intention directly. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, no beating around the bush. You say. Beating around the bush would mean when you're trying to, you want to say something, but you don't say it directly. You beat around the bush. You keep saying other things. <laughs> but I am a respectful guy. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, in English, though, you have to be a little careful because if you're really direct, some people, especially if you're a male and you're talking to a female, they might be a little afraid. Okay. But uh, I say these in, uh, things only uh, for fun. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> just, <laughs> just making sure. We know you, Hamid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Well, I'm I'm saying it actually because um, it's very interesting. On Facebook, I get a lot of guys wanting to be my friend on Facebook, and immediately they're very much asking me questions: How old am I? Am I married? Uh, all this kind of stuff. And it's a little bit too uh, forthright for people in the United States to have guys asking women those questions right away. Mm. Yes, and then I don't answer them. So. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but in this situation, uh, we uh, picked up uh, some questions, and yes. I wanted to, to use it, uh, all of them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, saying saying this kind of stuff is normal. You know, like, oh, so what do you do for a living? Where are you going? Yeah. That's those are mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, that's good. I want to say that if I'm traveling by train mm -hmm. and I'm alone. I usually uh, read in my ebook. If somebody came to me, yeah, I don't like it. You don't like it? No, I don't talk to anybody. You don't talk and to the anybody. Third question mm -mm. is: Are you single? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to be polite. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I that's what I'm saying on the on the Facebook. They're asking me, "How old are you? Are you single? Where where do you live?" And those are three questions I don't want to answer. Mm, yes. I want to. You can go read my Facebook profile. <laughs> it's all right there. <laughs> uh, Rafael, where did you go? Okay, so it, here's another scenario. So good job, you guys. Um, a waiter and a customer. So uh, we did one like this the other day, but um, and it was fun. And this one's a little bit different because as the customer now, you are a very picky eater. So that means you only like certain things, and maybe you're allergic to some things too. Like maybe you can't have, I don't know, tomatoes or something like that. So you have to make sure that you can get something to eat at this restaurant. So the customer's job is going to be to ask some questions and the waiter's job is you know to answer those questions about the food and so this is actually a very common scenario these days at least in the United States people are on every kind of diet um, gluten free you know dairy free no eggs no meat and different people are eating all different kinds of ways these days so this is very common for people to go into a restaurant and look at the menu and then ask a lot of questions like, can I get this without uh, pepper or can you put the dressing on the side? Uh, so stuff, stuff like that. So let's come up with some ideas for what would a customer want to ask 
if you were a picky eater and you had to make sure that there wasn't some stuff in your dish, for example. So, what could you say? Anybody? Um, uh, does it have uh, too much salt? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, is is it? I would say is it made with a lot of salt? Okay. So the wait the waiter might tell you some things like we have some specials or something, and then you would say something like, "Well, I'm thinking about ordering," and then you could you know say the chicken with rice or the the pizza or something like that. But I can't eat this or I don't like this. So what would be some other questions that a customer could ask? Amit, do you have questions? Uh, can you say some? Uh, can you say the ingredients of one of these special foods? Because okay. with yeah. this question we can learn, and a, a person knows uh, his or her allergic things, so mm -hmm. he can adjust uh, himself uh, with this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could ask uh, the waiter. So, for example, let's say you're looking at a menu and you want to order the uh, uh, chicken teriyaki, Japanese dish, and you could say, could you tell me the ingredients of this dish because I'm allergic to things, you know, certain things. Okay, Andre, you just went out to dinner last night. Did you have any questions for the waiter? For my waiter? Yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> oh, <what's okay? laughs> yes, because I chose the ingredients before I. Oh, mm -hmm. you you got okay. to choose it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, Ming or Sarah, do you guys have an idea of what kind of question you might ask? Uh, for me, maybe uh, do you have the pasta without uh, gluten? Do you have pasta without what? Pasta without gluten. Yeah. Without gluten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, or do you have any uh, gluten-free, we saw, we could say, do you have any gluten-free pasta? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep, that's common question <laughs> these days. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can also say, um, can I substitute something? Can I substitute the bread for some uh, vegetables, Niha? <laughs> so that means, like, uh, can I... So if you want to substitute something, you can say, can I get um, um, some vegetables instead of the bread or instead of the rice or something like that? Okay. Anybody else have a suggestion? Somebody's going to have to do this role play. We're helping them out here. Um, can I have the meat? Rare or medium or well done? Mm hmm. Yeah. Can I have the meat and then you can say which one? Uh, rare, medium, or well done? Yep. Yeah. And a lot of times the waiter might ask you that too. So if you order like a hamburger, you might say, you know, he'll, the waiter will say, would you like, or how would you like your meat cooked? That's what they say. How will you, how, whoops. How would you like your meat cooked? And then the answer would be rare or medium rare or medium or well done. And like if you were at, you know, you might say like I'm going to order the hamburger but I don't want any onions. You know, no onions uh, and no pickles. For example. Or whatever. Okay, uh, should we think of what, what kind of uh, place they're going? Let's see. Let's make it an Italian restaurant. That's easy. So you guys know what kind of things are at Italian restaurants. So we have pasta. We have pizza. We have chicken parmesan dishes. We have lasagna. Uh, what else? See, maybe seafood, meat, Ice cream. Uh, gelato. <laughs> Ice cream. Yeah, gelato is ice cream. Italian ice cream. Okay, who wants to be the waiter and who wants to be the customer who is the picky eater? Um, I can be the customer. Okay, Julio, you're going to be the customer and who wants to be the waiter who's going to help Julio? Sarah, 
Oh ya Dita? Oh iya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the ticket. <laughs> We can help you out. Let's try. Yeah, let's yeah. try. Yeah. Okay, so Sarah, as the waiter, the, now the waitress, we could say, um, you can welcome him and... Um, so let's just pretend that he's already been looking at the menu and you're going to ask him something like, are you uh, ready to order? And then he will say, yeah, but I have a few questions first. And then he'll start asking the question. And then you just, everything, you guys will just make it up. <laughs> See how it goes. Okay. Okay, okay. so go ahead, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, good, good evening, sir. Are you ready? Have you already taken uh, take uh, taking a look at uh, our card yes um and are you ready to order well i have some questions first um i want to know is the is the food fresh in this restaurant uh, do you mean like uh, salad yeah if the food fresh i mean is it uh is all the fruits and vegetables, I mean, are are they from today, I mean, or, or they have been in the refrigerator for weeks? I would like to know that. Yes, uh, for today. All of them? Yes, they are fresh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Uh, and uh, they, come, yeah, they come from Canada. <laughs> okay, so they come from Canada? And they are from today, so uh, yeah. I guess they send them by airplane or something, no? Okay. <laughs> Aaron, are you in Canada? <laughs> She's okay. in Canada, so, so yeah. <laughs> you guys, oh. <laughs> we have okay. to decide on where we are. Yeah, uh, you guys well, are in Canada. We are in, okay. we are in, we are in Italy. So. Oh, okay, oh, we're sorry. in Italy. Okay. You're at an Italian restaurant in Italy. We didn't say that, so oh, now we're changing it. That's me. Yes, okay. they come from the countryside of Italy. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, uh, and is it organic food? Oh, um, quite, uh, yes. Most of them, yes. Okay, most of it, yes, yes. Most of it. Okay, you know, I want to uh, this Can with... I, yeah. Excuse me. Can I, for example, have uh, uh, what do you want to? What do you? What do, can I, for example, know what do you want to eat, and I will recommend you. Okay. Well, I want something Italian, and but I don't want anything with uh, too much uh, that is made with too much salt. <laughs> and and I also w watching my weight, so I don't want anything with a lot of calories. Oh, yeah. And we am um, definitely with no carbs. No carbs. So, <laughs> no so carbs. What can you recommend me? No uh, bread, no pasta. Okay. I would uh, recommend you some salad, our Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, wow, what it's uh, how we see uh, what are the ingredients of, of the okay. Caesar plate? So you're gonna have some uh, cheese uh, gut and some salad, some vegetables, tomatoes and uh, co co cucumber and uh, cucumber, yeah, yeah, and um, uh, some bread, uh, some uh, bread, just a mm -hmm. little. Uh, I'll say that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Can I substitute the goat cheese for uh, tuna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my doctor recommends me tuna uh, to have a, a very strict tuna diet, so I want to include tuna in my dish. Can I can I substitute it? Do you want the red or white white tuna? Okay. <laughs> All right, and um, I would like to, to order something to drink. Uh, what kind of? I was sorry, I, I didn't didn't I didn't understand the menu because it was in Italian. So, what kind <laughs> of of beverage do you have in this restaurant? Do you want uh, hot or cold beverage? 
Uh, I would like something like a wine. Oh, what would you recommend me? Okay, so if you, uh, excuse me, you didn't not uh, answer to my question. Did you want uh, white or red tuna? Ah, sorry. Um, yeah. The tuna. The white yeah. or red tuna? Yeah. White or red tuna? I don't know. Most of the tuna I have eaten is kind of gray. <laughs> so. I don't know. I guess it's the uh, white. White tuna. White. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna check with the chief if we do have tuna. But instead of uh, if uh, if we if we don't, do you wanna do you want us to 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 recommend you salmon? And uh, if you will take uh, fish, I recommend you a white uh, white uh, wine. White wine? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have a? Um, okay, white wine will be okay. I want the the whole bottle uh, <laughs> of your best wine. <laughs> but, uh, do you have any kind of wine that is uh, calorie All free? Cal calorie free wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm Sl <laughs> slender wine. Do you have diet wine? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm trying to watch my weight, so I mean, I I like to drink I a lot. I think it's when I eat, yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna check with the chief, and uh, I will come back. Uh, I mean, Slender yeah. wine is called. <laughs> okay, guys, good. That's good. All right. Anybody have any questions or anything? <laughs> that one. Yes, single. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she might be single. He's can, too, I, can I have your email? Either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's good the job, email of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good job. Okay, good, Hulu. That was good. You had a lot of uh, good questions there. And I liked your strict tuna diet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You have to eat tuna. Well, I was I was on a strict tuna diet like a year ago. So. You were? Yeah, it was just like tuna and eggs and... Chicken breast. Like for what? For losing weight or for what? Yeah, for losing weight, yeah. Yeah, and how'd it go? Well, I did lose like uh, 10 kilograms. I don't know how many pounds it is. Yeah, 20 but it worked. pounds. It worked? It worked, yeah. Yeah, and now what? But I, but I got enough of tuna, so. Now you don't need tuna uh, ever no, again. No, I, I don't need tuna <laughs> ever again. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, guys, good. All right, so here's another one. So we're two friends, and you're planning a surprise party for another friend of yours. So how are you going to plan the party? What kinds of things do you need to, f to talk about when you're planning a party? So somebody help us out here. What are some things? It can be a birthday party. Huh? A birthday party? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but what kinds of things do you have to uh, plan for? How many people is coming? Okay, how many people do we think are going to be here? For example, we cannot say the birthday uh, boy or girl, so we can invite uh, this surprise party uh, him or her. Right. We're going to invite them, yeah. Yeah. So we could say something like, um, how are we going to get, um, let's just say him, here without him knowing, so you guys can figure that out. What kind of party do you want to have? Nihon, it could be fun. Oh, maybe a what? The party could be fun. What kind of party would be fun? <laughs> a costume party. Costume party? Okay, so we could say what What kind of party uh, should we have? Oops. Should we have? Should and we then have. you could have like a costume party or what other kinds of parties? Where? Okay, um, at what time is the party going to be? 
Yeah? What a divorce time? party. Divorce party. A divorce party? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming to the divorce party? <laughs> it's very common here in Spain to celebrate it. Yeah? Yes. How? How do you celebrate it? I don't know. I'm married, Lisa. I don't know. I don't think <laughs> in that kind of things. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or, or or this party can be uh, to find a partner's uh, party. <laughs> no, our party is for our friend. This is a surprise party. But what? Okay, so what kind of food? Or you know what? So, what? So it can be a finishing a graduation party. Yeah. It could be any kind, the birthday party, graduation party, a surprise divorce party. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ming, what were you thinking? Um, uh, what kind of drink? What kind of drinks? Okay. Yes. All right. M Ming, I think you, you have an idea how to make this party fun. So who wants to go <laughs> I, with me? <laughs> I, I want to do the counselor one. Which one? Oh, you want to do the counselor one? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Lucas, do you want to do this one? Okay. <clears throat> okay. And Luis, do you want to do uh, with Lucas? You guys are going. Yeah. Let's just say you guys are going to throw a, a party for Hamid. <laughs> so Hamid's your friend, and you're going to throw him a special party. Let's just say it's a surprise party. Uh, and you guys can make it up. And you guys are going to have the conversation of what kind of party are we going to throw for him. So you guys have to talk about the food, the entertainment, who you're going to invite, where is the party going to be, and who's going to pay for it. You know, just a couple of things like that. And we'll give you guys just about five minutes so that we can uh, have time to do other ones too because we have more people. Okay, go. Let's see. Go ahead, Lucas. You can start. Uh, just say, hey, Luis. Okay. Uh, hey, Luis. Uh, uh, as you know, we have to think about uh, so some... Uh, 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 about some... Uh, how to say... party to hang it. Yeah, plan. we have to plan the party, you could say. Plan the party. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how old is he? Hamid, you, you know him, he's my friend and uh, you met them a few times. Uh, he has 25 years old. Oh, he's 25. Then we need to know how much alcohol do we need. <laughs> <laughs> I think more, more. Uh, I think uh, too much because when it's when we have alcohol, uh, it's good party. I know. Let's buy some tequila. <laughs> okay, tequila and and other stuff uh, would be okay because Hamid also likes drink. Yeah, he's he's alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so so about uh, drink we. We, I think we agree that we have to buy uh, much. A lot. A lot, a lot. I would say. A lot. Yeah, we, we have to buy a lot. Okay. Sure. Uh, what, what about uh, the time? Uh, I don't know. What do you think about three, three o'clock? I think uh, to uh, to area and uh, no. I uh, think about 8 p.m. 8? Yeah. No, you gotta be kidding me, man. Let's start <laughs> at 4, because we need to drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> okay, we so 5. 5. 5 p.m. Okay, that's okay, good. So, okay, so let's And what are we go. gonna eat? Uh, eat, uh, I think about some food which can be deliver like we can buy from some some pizza get a pizza yeah now? yeah some pizza would be okay 
Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And who's gonna go to the party? Uh, and it's a difficult question because uh, you know some girlfriend because I know only <laughs> some <laughs> guy. <laughs> okay. Let's invite Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lisa, and maybe Lisa knows some girl also, because uh, when when we get only guy, the party would be not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We should invite Lisa. Uh, also, uh, she's she's uh, she she likes to drink a lot too. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so Lisa, <laughs> Lisa would be okay, and uh, Andra, you know Andra, Nihan, sorry if i wrong, <laughs> uh, say the names. Sarah, you did a karaoke for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how, how much people you think uh, would be okay? Ten? Mm, I don't Almost. know, maybe like 20 or 25. What do you think? Okay, 25. It, it would be good. Do party. we need chairs or we're just gonna be. No, I think it's not important. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, how about music? Yeah, what about music? Yeah, we can have some opera music or. <laughs> 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 um, maybe, maybe you know some DJ. Some what? DJ. DJ. Oh, okay. M maybe you have some friend who play. Yeah, some nice jams <laughs> and. Play some jams, yeah. What about a cake? How many wants a cake? <laughs> a cake. <laughs> So uh, about for a, for a 25 year old <laughs> kid. <laughs> so and, she, weird. and he has no girlfriend. I mean, he's, he's weird. <laughs> no, I'm just your, kidding. Your, your friend Lisa have a uh, uh, restaurant or maybe another restaurant. Uh, he have. I forget. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, all right, good, you guys. Yeah, that's good. You came up okay. with all the, the main things, and Andrea's sister can make a cake, so we'll, she can make a big cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for the party. Full cake. <laughs> a a devil's full cake. cake. Yes. yes. Uh, and and uh, with uh, 25 candles. <laughs> 25 candles. Yes. <laughs> the important point, Amit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we can buy this cake from uh, Lisa's uh, cafe. <laughs> uh, I forget cafe. Okay. Yeah, the cafe. He's gonna stick with cake. I see. He wants cake. Forget the beer. <laughs> More for you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um. All right. Ming and Nihon and Miguel are left. So let's see. We uh. Which one did you guys want to do? Because we have a couple left. We have the cop and the bank robbery witness, or the counselor and the client. Counselor. Counselor. You, okay, Ming, you want to do the counselor? Yeah. All right. Uh, Nihan, do you want to do the other one? So then Miguel could do this one with him. Miguel, did you want to do one? Are you still with us? He said he was going. No, he's not. He's not here. Okay. Okay. Nihan? Yes. Do you want to be the client or the counselor? Why wouldn't we go with the cop and witness? The cop and the you can do that one. We'll just somebody else can do this with Ming first. And then we'll save the last one for you. Okay, who wants to be what do you want to uh, be, we, Ming? We can do the cops. We can do the cops. You wanna be the cop? Who do you want to be? The cop or the witness? Uh, <laughs> I want to be a witness. I, I don't. I don't. Okay, Nihon wants okay, to be, be the witness. Okay, I'll be the then cop. Then you can be the, be the cop. All right. So, what kinds of things does a cop have to ask the witness, guys? 
What what happened there? What happened? Yes, what happened here? Alright, then I think you guys could probably do it. We don't need to tell you. What do we all right, Nihon, you guys, I think, probably can handle this one. So, okay. the, the scenario is a cop has just come onto the scene, and there's been a bank robbery, and Nihon was there. And so she is the witness, and she's supposed to, you know, she, he is going to ask her some questions, and she's going to tell the details. And Ming, of course, you can ask her more questions to clarify things or to get more information. And so we'll see okay. we'll see what happened in this uh, bank robbery. Okay, Ming, you can ask Nihan. Hello, Nihan. Welcome to my office. What happened to you there? Am I in your office? I don't know. I'm too scared, actually. This is a robbery in the street, and there are lots of guys who was robbed the bank. I saw their face. <laughs> Actually, you... they saw me. Okay. It's okay. It's all over now. It's so, not over. Did anybody... They can uh... find me. You have to protect me. It's okay. You're in I my don't office. Care about Everything the bank. okay. Uh, please come now. May I, may I stay here uh, forever? <laughs> stay here for as long as you want. Uh, so want. tell me, tell oh. me a few details about the robbery. The details? I don't know. It's it, it was really dark, but it was a lot of guy who was wearing masks. But two of them, I think they are the leaders. Um, they just throw their um, masks and I saw their face and they threatened me. They said, uh, we will find you if you give a testimony or something. What can I do? Uh, did they get the money? I don't care about the money. Of course they get the money. Okay. Look at well, uh, bank. Okay, so you're you're here, so you're safe. Okay, we'll put you. Uh, how many uh, victims were there? Did anybody get injured at the bank? Yeah, they shoot three guys. Haven't you read the newspaper? Well, it just happened. You said it's still happening. It's not on the newspaper anymore. So I have to. You have to tell me, right? Right, Nina? You know what? The internet is really, really fast. You have to look at well, that details on the internet. Well, it happened five minutes ago. It can be on the internet, right? So. It can be. You know, the Philip Seymour Hoffman that is in on internet in three minutes. Everything is internet, well, and they he, they he, shoot he, he three is, guys. Wait, wait. We're going off topic. We're talking about a robbery. <laughs> Not some celebrity. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, uh, are, you, are you okay? Are you new are you injured? or something? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm injured. I'm mentally injured. Isn't it obvious? Okay, I'm not. Okay, you are. You are not. Um, you are very calm. I want to ask questions. You have to tell me what happened. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, did you see what they look like? How many of the uh, robbers were there? I don't know. 20, 40. I don't know. I didn't count. Uh, that's this a huge really, really sudden. group of robbers. <laughs> 20 or 40. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like an army. Okay. Uh, do you know what direction they went off to? Oh, their direction they. <laughs> I think you have a camera or something uh, on the bank. You're asking me some yeah. questions. It's 
it's really absurd. It's nonsense, I guess, because you can solve the camera recordings. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. So and you I can't stay here. And I can't money, Hamid. Not the robbers. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alright, so I don't know what to say. Uh, and stay here uh, until you feel safe. Uh, I I need a medical okay. support. I need I need a psychologist. <laughs> psychologist? What do you need help? Yes. With, uh, <laughs> Is my voice comforting too? Like a deep, no, it deep makes voice me more comforting? Scared. No, it makes me more scared <laughs> because you're not <laughs> seem like a really professional. Are you re a really cop? <laughs> kind of. No, I'm a rob. I'm actually a robber. You're in the <laughs> wrong place. Could it be possible? Ming, why don't you call for backup? <laughs> tell tell her that yeah. she's very distressed and you're going to call in a professional to help her. Andrea will come in. Okay. She's a professional. Andrea, come in. I have a I have a some distressed woman. You know you need to help her. Stupid stressed woman? Distressed. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> distressed. I can hear you. <laughs> Andrea, can you help Nihan? She's very upset. Yes, maybe she... If she drinks some beer, she will be okay. <laughs> Are you bringing her some beer? <laughs> yes. I think she, have, she needs to go to the party. So <laughs> <laughs> Not Hamid's party. <laughs> I've heard about it. Party. No, no, it's not interesting. The, the bank, I bank it. robber having a party there. <laughs> Hamid can produce a chemical drink for you guys. Yeah. Better than alcohol. Do they have cake? <laughs> <laughs> With candles. <laughs> yes. Maybe 40 candles, candles because of uh, 40 uh, robbers. 40 robbers. All the robbers are coming to Hamid's party. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was wondering for 40 candles for my age, but I made a good, good try. <laughs> it's hard to, to help a, a, a woman in distress, I mean. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's been cooperative at all. She wasn't very cooperative witness, as Sarah pointed out. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't answer any of my questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Hey, uh, okay, do you think we have time for one? I don't know if we have time for one more. So, because we don't have time for one more, instead, we're just going to talk about the Oscars. Who is going to watch the Oscars? Nihon is going to watch the Oscars. Yes. Anybody else? I know. What it, time is it? I think it's at. Uh, starts at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So that is not really a great so, time for many people. Is that eight o'clock central time? Yeah, eight o'clock okay. central time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four in the I morning for me for the red carpet. For the red. And oh my six. gosh, you're gonna watch the red carpet too? Of course. Oh my gosh. The it's red a carpet. total show, you know. Yeah, you have to watch the total show. Yes. Okay. I will miss it. Everybody know what we're talking about. The Academy Awards is tonight, the 86th Academy Awards. And um, these are the pictures for Best Picture. American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, Her, Nebraska, Philomena, 12 Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. So does anybody want to make any predictions? What do you think, I Nihan? I have I've, already, I've already made a bet for uh, 100 if I get it, I You made will, a bet? Yeah. What do you bet on? Uh, some sort of uh, internet sites that oh. you can find it uh, on internet. Oh, I yeah. see, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, who did and you pick? If, if I, I've picked all of the categories, but uh, the seven of them, um, the eight of them is, is really important. The rates yeah. are um, much more. Yeah. Bigger than the others, and if I mm, 
pick the right ones. Maybe I can get one thousand and five hundred dollars. Wow, cool. Which one did you pick for best picture? Best picture I've picked uh, Twelve Years a Slave. Mm -hmm. Has but, anybody? Yeah, go ahead. But I, I just want to win the Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, it was my favorite. Yeah. But everyone's favorite is uh, that slave. slave movie. Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody we'll see. seen any of these movies? No. I in American Hustle. Did you like yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to watch her today. Her today, yeah. Because, yeah, because Tina, the uh, Beverly T, suggests me to watch that movie. Yeah, her. I... <laughs> she, she really likes that movie. <laughs> Lucas, did you <clears throat> see any of these movies? Mm, yes, uh, Captain Phillips, American Hustle. Uh huh. Uh, and 12 Years Life, The oh, Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> you saw The Wolf of Wall Street? I haven't seen that one yet. I yes. It. Yeah. For me, it was good, but <laughs> it depends. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you like most? Uh, 12 Years a Slave was good, very good for me. Mm -hmm. Luis, did you see any of these movies? Nope, but I want to watch Gravity. Uh -huh. They said that it's a very good movie. So yeah. maybe I try. Yeah. I think yeah. it was specifically for the, the cinematography and the way it was filmed. Cinematography. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Julio, I how about you? If, well, I just, um, I just saw Gravity not too much ago. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't like it. You didn't I like thought it? it was it was boring. Boring, yeah. So the photography was uh, was really really nice. Yeah. And I think it's what it was made to showcase uh, Sandra Bullock's talent. Yes. And yeah. she's yeah. not that talented. Mm. Yeah. She's good, but she's not that like outstanding actress. Yeah, I I you opinion. should watch her watch her in the heat. Because that's funny. <laughs> the movie The Heat. I think she's, she's, she's kind of more like a funny actress, like a comedian. Yeah, funny, comedian. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. She's a rom rom romantic comedy actress. Yeah, romantic me. comedy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Andre, did you see any of these? Uh, only the trailer of The Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street, yeah. And what about you, Sarah? Uh, yeah, unfortunately not yet. But yeah. I wish I could... Uh, 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 watch uh, Gravity because uh, Alex uh, Sandra Bullock is one of my favorite uh, actresses. So. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see The Heat? Not yet. Watch that one. That's uh, okay. boring. Thanks for the. The <laughs> Heat is funny. <laughs> Not boring. I'm gonna try. Oh, it. Funny. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's funny. Thanks for the advice. Okay. I hate American sense Well, of it's American. Yes, yeah, it's American humor. It's cultural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for coming and thanks for going. Uh, Hamid wants to know who wins the Oscar for the acting. If anybody wants to nominate somebody for this, the I acting. think it's hundred percent. Matthew McConaughey uh, will win the best actor, but maybe the Caprio has a little chance because they they, they promote him a lot. His yeah. fans. For actress, it could be Kate Blanchett. Blanchett, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, in my opinion, Mary Streep was great in Osage Country. She was always great. Yeah. Verbling Oscars. <laughs> That's what Amit I mean, wants, the Verbling Oscar. May <laughs> Maybe we can, we can arrange a class uh, for another day, uh -huh. which, which uh, the winners released. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, if you watch the Oscars, have fun. And if you don't, then that's okay, too. <laughs> <laughs> but Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres, she's funny. So she sometimes is just fun to watch. She's the host. So she's can, she can be funny. Um, all right. Well, yeah. thanks for coming. I have one more class in an hour after this hour. And so maybe I'll see some of you guys. Or if not, uh, later this week, maybe. Thanks, Thank guys. You, Lisa. Okay, Lisa. Thank Bye. you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.